It is not very normal for someone to go from associate professor to full professor in such a short period of time. I'm Professor Novel Chegu. I'm head of the TB Diagnostic Biomarker Lab, also called Chegu Lab. And we are based in the Stellenbosch University Immunology Research Group, which is part of the Division of Molecular Biology and Human Genetics. At the time I applied for associate professorship, I was already at the level of a full professor in a way, especially when you look at uh, the metrics that are used in many other institutions. It was easier for me to apply for full professorship after a short period of time because my track record and my outputs were already at that level. I've had the opportunity to work with such incredible people in this university and then throughout the years we've built an incredible research team now we, that we call the Stellenbosch University Immunology Research Group. In academia, you cannot really go far without being in a good environment, having the right support structures uh, where you're working. And being at the medical school also gave me the opportunity to collaborate with a lot more uh, people who are outside the group. For example, doctors who are based at the hospital. And that helped, all of that helped in getting me, my research work to where I am at the moment. The focus of my research is on TB biomarkers. A biomarker is a molecule, it can be any molecule, something that you measure objectively and which can tell you whether disease is present or absent or whether a pathological process has occurred or not. In a case which is tuberculosis, when somebody is infected by TB, the immune cells in the body try to fight to eliminate the disease. In that process, they, the immune cells produce this chemicals or these proteins which are in the circulatory system or expressed in different biological fluids. And so what we do in the biomarker studies is that we now try to look at um, those proteins that are produced in response to that infection being there and as an indirect means of knowing that that pathogen is present in the body. Luminex experiments are used to measure protein levels within a patient. We are able to look at 50 proteins at once, 100 and even up to 500 proteins at once in a single well. Stellenbosch University really boasts with one of the biggest Luminex facilities where we have four Luminex instruments as well as a newly acquired FlexMap 3D instrument, which is one of the only instruments within Africa. Based on the protein analysis that we then do here, we are then able to determine biomarker candidates, biomarker signatures, which we will then use to develop tools that can be used for point of care testing. So one of the, our most advanced tests that we have developed is a three protein based test, which makes use of finger prick blood. So with a tiny amount of blood, you can uh, look at the levels of three proteins using a small handheld device and which then tells you whether this person has a high risk of having TB disease or not. The aim was just to try to find better ways of diagnosing the disease, tests that can uh, be easily applied even in resource poor settings, tests that can be uh, done by, uh, that do not require high infrastructure, high technical expertise. If we roll those tests, to the lower levels of the healthcare system. And then it will dramatically shorten the time that it takes to diagnose the disease. 